Hi guys, good morning. As you can see, I'm back in Brazil. And uh, I got here around Tuesday. So yeah, happy to be back. But it was also really hard leaving my family. But you know, it is what it is. Um, I have training today. And right now I'm just trying to get some extra touches in before. And I also have a game tomorrow, a friendly. And it's about five hours away. So we have to wake up pretty early because the game's at 3 p.m. Um, yeah, and I'll give you guys like a quick uh, rundown of what I do today and a little bit of what a game day would look like here in Brazil. And yeah, today I'm just not gonna do anything too hard. Maybe just 30 minutes of me in this cage, just practicing some of my uh, ball mastery and some dribbling. And then after I'll do another 30 minutes on the wall, just practicing my first touch off the air. Yeah, just some simple stuff today. Nothing too heavy, but you know, always good to get some work in. So starting off my sessions, I'm always starting it off by doing one touch and two touch warm up. Now in here, I'm just playing the ball off the wall and practicing my turns. As I said the, before, the ball is really bad and also the wall bounce is really unpredictable so it helps me with my reaction and just bringing the ball down with more focus control.
here. It's so hot. And this ball, they don't have any good. I tried searching for a good ball here, but it's hard. And um, yeah, so I just finished my session here, around 30, 40 minutes. I'm gonna change, go back home, and juggle off the wall for maybe around 20, 30 minutes. I also didn't have any cones, so I had to use some of uh, just some extra stuff. But then again, anything could be a cone. Yeah, I'm grateful to be back here too, training and with a team as well. And yeah, I'll head to the stadium now. Now on to the wall juggling. So starting off, I like to control with my inside foot and play out with my inside foot. Now once I feel I can't get that wrong, I switch to my laces. So controlling with my laces and playing out with my laces. And then after I control with my inside and play out with my laces. And then after this, I'll do the opposite. So control with my laces and then play out with my inside. And then I'll switch to my thigh, so I just control my thigh and just play it out. And here I just control the outside of my foot and play it in with the inside for both feet. Now I'll be playing out to my chest and the hard part is not controlling the ball with my chest but trying to play it at the right angle to get the ball to my chest. Now in these parts I just try to fool around with the ball, try and control it in different ways and just try to challenge myself. Guys, just finished showering and training. Now I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna go eat. I scared these dogs. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go eat. And my training's at 3 p.m. later, so I have some time to spare. So yeah, right now I'm just gonna relax, uh, have some downtime. And then at 3 p.m., I'll take you guys with me to the training. So I'll see you. <laughs> going to training right now. We're not training in the stadium today because there's a friendly with our women's team. So we're gonna go to a turf field instead and get some work in before our game tomorrow. And here I am with Luis. <laughs> hello, hello. Can it be good, sir? No. Hello, my friends. How are you doing, guys? Everything good. Huh? Everything good. Everything good. See, si, bon, everything bon. good. Si, bon. Y vaso. <laughs> Just got home from the training. Uh, I'm actually super tired. Today was a lot more tiring than I thought, but it was really fun. So right now I'm just gonna chill, shower, eat. Yeah, just have some downtime for the rest of the night. Alright guys, it's around 
11.30 right now. I gotta be up early tomorrow, so I'm just gonna go get some sleep. And yeah, I'll take you along with me tomorrow as well. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. got back from the game um, we left at 9 in the morning and we just got back like 10 30 10 45 so I'm super exhausted <laughs> um, we ended up tying the game we faced a team called Batel and they're in the third division of Paraguay of our state and yeah they're they're a good team I'm not gonna lie they had us on our heels a couple times and they had some pretty good players and they're just a very well organized team um, they were up one nothing in the first half, and then the second half they came through with a header, with their center back scoring a pretty good header. If you guys were wondering, the first half I played right back, and then in the second half I got switched to left back. Yeah, like for me, as of how I did, I think I did okay. You know, there's definitely some things that I could see that I have to work on. I was pretty upset with how I made some decisions in certain plays, but then again. In this whole game of football, you can't get too low in your lows and you can't get too high in your highs, you know. Whether you scored four goals in one game or you made a mistake in the back and they score off of it or you couldn't even complete a pass, like, there's always something to learn and improve on. So it's important not to ride too high and not to let yourself drop too low. The game of football, especially if you're trying to make it to the professional level, you got to be really mentally tough and very mentally grounded and just understanding like this too will pass. So right now I'm super tired. I'm gonna go get some sleep, get some rest. But I hope you guys enjoyed my two days of one day training and the next day having my game. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys soon. I'm wishing you guys all the best. I'll see you guys later. Peace.